Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, now I can hear you. Now I can hear you. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. And you? I'm okay. A little tired now. That's it. Yeah, why? Why are you tired? Oh, I have a tough day. A lot of work, meeting, and, and a lot of work. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes days, some days are busier than others. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> so right. I don't work. Uh, I don't work uh, Saturday normally, but tomorrow I had to. I had to work. So. Ah, it's part of the job, part of the life, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Romulo, Veronica, how are you? Fine, thank you. Hi, thank you. Good. How Pleasure you? to hear here. <laughs> yeah, likewise, likewise. I'm glad to hear you guys are here today. I know, I thought usually on Friday when we have, for some reason we have class on Friday, many people don't come. Um, yeah. I don't know why, because we're in the pandemic. You, it's, you're not going out. <laughs> you don't have celebrations or parties. So, you know, it's not the same like normal times. But we are tired. That's it. <laughs> yeah, definitely definitely tired like uh, elizabeth was saying there's there are some days especially on friday the end of the week and the last day is like oh i just want to relax go to bed early or you know just watch tv for example yeah <laughs> exactly okay. do, do you guys mostly watch? mostly it's raining like right now <laughs> ah yeah 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 especially like right now right now is the perfect day to be in the bed with the covers yeah <laughs> but uh, if you see it i think uh the people uh think uh, i forget it the, we are in, in pandemic aren't yeah because yeah. Uh, the activities are a lot of people in the street or in activities that's, that's in irresponsible people <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's true. There are a lot of people that, and you know that the is in the problem is also that the the more the pandemic continues, the uh, the less the people care. Because there is one moment where you say, ah, I don't care. The pandemic already is almost one year, and nothing happened. So then I continue my life normal for me to return back to normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, this is one of the 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 issues so hey we got three more we got carlos edwin and patricia welcome hi good evening good evening thank you hi teacher hey patricia all right so we're gonna get started um there's only six of us but it's okay we can make three groups even with six and what we're going to do is we're going to take a moment and we're going to discuss in asking follow-up questions about plans so for example if you were not in class today if you were not in class what would you be doing what would you normally do on a friday evening so if this this week because it's special but if you were not in class what would you do where would you go or see or how would you spend your time okay you guys ready okay. all right okay, perfect ready. let's do it Hey, Rocio. How are you?
it, it, this week uh, I have a new driver and we have to, to teach him everything and I'm not a patient person. Patient? So, uh, patient person, so I'm a little upset. I'm trying to, to be polite, but it's difficult to me, really difficult, because I, I, I like everything quickly, and, and uh, it, it's difficult. It's, it's a little bit hard those days, but it's okay. He has to learn us. Everybody has to learn when they start a job, so I have to understand him. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> to understand and, and be calm and be calm. <laughs> calm. Uh, be patient. <laughs> I know, I know, but be like Buddha. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> what you? about you, Rocio? How was well this weekend for you? Hi, Rocio. You have to be carefully when you go outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you know, it's we have a as I say, I have my, my mom and my grandmother, you know, and it's dangerous if I get the, the virus. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. So, right now, just stay home. Yeah, on the afternoon, I I didn't work, I because I I have appointment with my dentist and oh. I need to 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 went to to my dentist. Yeah, I I return. Yeah, um, in the afternoon, mm. but uh, yeah, just the rest of work. No, 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 no. I. I I was relaxed. I was a uh, relaxed time. <laughs> listening a little music, uh, I listen music, and hey, I, I, I drawn one beer. Yeah, it's necessary for me. <laughs> <laughs> and and dinner with my my family. Yeah, I, I was relaxed. If there was no class tonight? Uh, I always I uh, prepare a special snack with my wife and sometimes uh, I, I watch a movie or I watch a series that uh, I have been watched and, and, and the, the current, currently and uh, if the other probably that I listen, I, 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 I like listen music uh, and drink some some beer or depends or or or, or liquor, but uh, measure okay. <laughs> all, all, all for it's, it's Friday. <laughs> Family responsibilities. I could be so so stressful and worry about the money and health and everything. So I think be single is part of a uh, relaxed life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could be. It could be. But even that, if you, I, I mean. If you have, even if you are single, you have to think about the money and the objective in your life, what you want to do, not to be always the same, I mean. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I, I thought like that in last year but this year I learned that 
it's not always you ha you have to have expectations about the life because I it's supposed I will I have had my graduation this year but uh, COVID ap appears so I I have to wait for my graduation and I don't have work yeah, a job. So I just trying to videos and all that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's because cool. I, I have I have a very busy very busy weekend week I mean week. week. And um yeah and yeah. so I I I, I I didn't have the time to do the homework and, or watch the video. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. You will, you will yeah. make it on weekend. That's okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? I don't you watch I, the video? Mm -hmm. I, I, I watch some videos, but in some exercise you don't have to watch the video just just put the answer about the topic that we but uh the uh, the the production is made uh, uh turkish and the the developed or the the history it is uh, about the two family the power family in turkish yeah and then and they 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 have drama and then love is a yes a, a love story too and yes it's very interesting it, it, you know, you're, you're learning new yes uh, you learn about you know about the new <laughs> uh, the, the the culture the, the turkish culture yeah and the, the another series is a uh, uh, Kurikova. Kurikova. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a, uh, yes, it's a. Okay, so great. Everybody's being able to speak and talk and catch up and discuss things. Um, that's good for fluency. Also, we have here uh, the idea of the continuation from the indirect requests. If we remember, we learned yesterday that we have two forms. It's could you and can you. And really the only difference between being this and uh, telling the person is that it usually goes through a third person. Right, so it's not for you know, uh, we don't make uh, or it's not always a uh, directly to the person. I don't speak directly to a uh, Romulo, I speak to maybe to Andrea to tell Romulo one, something like this. Okay, so these are some of the different ways that we usually ask it's with could you and can you, and these are the ones that we have, and just the rest is it's just a different way, it's just uh showing you that you can have, you know, if we see all of these, we notice that the big difference between this and a direct question uh, grammatically is the fact that these do not have uh, any auxiliaries. We do not say, when does the party start? You see, it says, can you ask Jeff when the party starts? We do not use do, does, we don't use, uh, normally we don't use the other auxiliaries maybe has or have, we just use directly what time um, I should pick her up. Now, uh, you know, we don't have to have all of the other auxiliaries that we normally do in those situations. Did you have a chance today to watch the videos to see a little bit more about the indirect uh, request? No. No, okay. Sorry, just one. No. Yes, I did. 
okay? All right, some yes, some no. Okay, no problem. Now, as I said, really, the last part of unit 3.9 is a lot of indirect requests, okay? Um, you know, how to make different ones with that, how to make them with uh, infinitives, how to make it with if, how to make it with whether, all of these different forms on how to make them. So, uh, since not everybody had the opportunity to watch some of the videos, they, um, we're going to watch. And if you have any questions, then you ask me in this moment. That way it's clear. All right? Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Right. All right. So we'll watch. And if you have a question, just let me know. And then we'll explain and we'll talk about it. In the request. In this class, we will focus on turning imperatives into indirect. Can everybody hear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good. Yes. We use indirect requests when you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Well, let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there. Uh, but uh, maybe the assistant or a receptionist answers the phone. So you leave a message with that person. This is what we call an indirect request. So let me present the structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how the structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So for example, if we have statements, which is what we saw in our previous class, uh, then these statements will change in this form, right? Could you tell Jeff? that Tony is having a party, or could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Um, so we did a lot of practice with this in our previous lesson. Today we're going to focus, or we're going to um, pay close attention to imperatives. Uh, so we're going to have a series of imperatives, and we will be changing those to uh, indirect requests using uh, infinitives. If you can see on the screen, we're going to uh, take this imperative, and um, so the imperative is, Jeff, don't be late. Now this, we're going to turn it into an indirect request by using infinitives. And so the way that we will do this is that we will use can you tell plus the object and then we'll use an infinitive. This infinitive could be in a negative form or it could also be in a positive form. Uh, so let me just quickly point out the structure that we're going to be using. Um, all right, uh, so I mentioned uh, we're going to use could. Um, this can also be can, by the way. And uh, then we're going to use um, a subject there. It could be you, but uh, it could be any other subject as well, right? And then uh, typically we're, we will use the verb tell. And then I mentioned this is going to be followed by the object. The object is who are we giving that message to? So for example, in this case, it happens to be Jeff. Um, and after that, we will use um, an infinitive, as I mentioned. Uh, this could be in the form of a negative infinitive. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's just take that example there. Um, can you, and I will tell the object it's Jeff. All right. And in this case, uh, this happens to be a negative one, so we will say not to be late. And then we'll put a question mark, and that's how we would change um, an imperative into an indirect request. So now let's say that the imperative is different. Okay, now we're gonna, I'm gonna give an example of a positive one. So what would be that? Well, maybe we want to give a message to Jeff. Jeff was not there, so but we talked to the uh, to his assistant. So uh, bring some uh, drinks for the party. All right, that's the message that we want to give to Jeff. This is in the form of an imperative. So how do we go? About oh. Make sure that uh, we don't wait to the end to ask the questions. At the moment, do you have any questions? Is there anything that is not clear on how we're changing it or how we're making those uh, indirect requests? I have a question. Okay, Vero. Um, it is indifferent if you use can or cool. Correct. It is indifferent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it doesn't matter which one you want to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Any other questions? No. No? Teacher. Yeah, Rocio. Mm, uh, af after we we said, could you tell to someone that the statement or the re the statement should be um, in third person if we are talking about uh, he, she, or it? The verb. Ah, okay. Uh, it. No, we're gonna see. Hang on. Um, we'll take a look. Twenty-four. Okay, like in this one, uh, here, for example, when you mean right here, when the party starts, right? Like, with the, do we put the S in that one? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, if you notice, that's the only one, and that's because we use the question, "Do or does?" Right. Uh, but and also for here so we have uh, again we have a do so then we used for he she it we have has okay so okay. for the, mm -hmm. so for do or does if the question was originally a do or does then yes but if the question has um, a modal verb you you don't need to change because the models don't change if the question was a negative okay so here then it's a negative with don't we don't change because we don't change the uh, third person with negatives it's only for do or does okay 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 teacher yeah uh, i have a question i don't know if i have to study again the infinitives <laughs> okay or or because i don't see um in the sentences that that is using uh, infinitives what 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 is the that made the sentences the sentence infinitive ah okay okay i got you okay so we if we notice that the we do not use the infinitives here in the bold could you tell uh, object and not, and then only the verb. We do not use, uh, for example, in this one, okay? Uh, Jeff, could you tell Jeff not, here we go. And then here's the infinitive, to be late, or to try, or to, to cook, or whatever you want. If the it were, verb, the verb is that make the, the sentence an infinitive? The, the two, the two makes the sentence infinitive. So for example, here, oh, right here where it okay. says imperatives, um, in this part right here. Okay, uh -huh. so don't be late or study or whatever statement you want is you're going to use, if it's a negative, you use not. If it's not a negative, only you use the infinitive to and then the action. So I can tell you, for example, can you tell Romulo to, uh, you know, to call me, for example, that's going to be the infinitive, to plus the verb. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Is it, it, was that, was, did yeah. I answer you? Well, yeah, what I understand is that the, the to is made, uh, made the sentence infinity. Correct. When you Correct. when when you use that, when you use two. Correct. Two and the verb is what makes it infinitive. Correct. Two and the verb. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And and the gerunds are the verbs with ing. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Any other questions? So yes. We we done well. There is no conjugation. Is the original verb. Correct. Right? That's correct. Okay. That's okay? Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, here, we'll continue from here. Like I said, the, the, the video's a little long, that's why, um, but it's good that way we can answer the, the questions as we're watching. So if you have any questions, 
take note and then ask me again in a few moments. Oh, again, we mentioned we will use could, and then we'll use you. Uh, in this case, we will use the birth tell. The object I mentioned is Jeff, all right? So we will say, could you tell Jeff? And if you notice, this is not in a negative form, so therefore, we will not use not, okay? Not. We will simply use the infinitive form. Could you tell, could you tell Jeff to bring? some drinks for the party there we go um, and this is what I refer to or this is what we refer to whenever we say that that's an infinitive right so um, it, to bring um, or not to uh, and then the verb right so if we have a negative form we will use not to and then the verb if we have a positive form we will say to and then plus the verb that's what we mean by that so could you tell Jeff to bring some drinks for the party. And that's how we turn that imperative into an indirect request. So let's practice making a series of imperatives and we're gonna do the exercise of changing those into indirect requests. So all the messages are directed towards Jeff. So Jeff, be on time, okay, uh, maybe uh, Jeff, Tell your friends that they are invited Bye. to the party. Okay. Jeff, bring your iPod. So there we go. We got a series of statements there on the bottom. What we want to do with that is we want to change those into an indirect request. So as I'm doing them, uh, you should also be uh, doing them yourself as well to make sure that you are understanding this topic. So let's do the first one together. So Jeff, be on time. Um, again, we will say, could you tell Jeff? And that is not negative. So therefore we will say, we will change be on time to, to be on time. Jeff, tell your friends that they are invited to the party. All right, we will do something similar. We will say, could you tell Jeff to tell his friends that they are invited to the party? There we go. Uh, and again, what we did was we simply have to change this into a form of infinitive. Uh, and we did that by doing this, right? There we go. Okay, we're gonna pause there to make sure that we're here. As we can see, uh, that's exactly the, the, I think that was part of the original question um, about the infinitive and how we change it. So here in this sentence on the bottom with Jeff, tell your friends, this is not infinitive. The, you change it to infinitive only by putting in the verb to. So when you use indirect questions, you use the infinitive only. What that means is only the action or the activity, you put the word to. To, to cook, to spell, to read, to eat, to work, whatever you want, but just the word to. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, teacher, very clear. Okay. Okay, all right. So as we can see, there, there's a lot of different ways. And what's really the function? The function is just to make requests. It's just, and what are requests? Requests are just asking for favors. That's all it is. It's another way to say, oh, I need a favor or I want you to do something. So when we talk about, oh, can we make a request? Okay. It's just asking for a favor. When we say, can we make indirect requests, is we're asking for a favor for somebody that's not there or asking for someone else to do the favor. Does that make sense? Yes, it can. Okay, perfect. The reason I ask is because I know that in, it's quite a few videos for indirect re requests. They usually have um, a lot of them that we need to, take a look at but 
I think with that video, it's for the most part, you have the idea how to make them. And also we can accept them or deny them, right? You can say, sure, no problem, or I'm sorry, I, I don't have the time or whatever you, whatever you want, right? It doesn't always have to be a positive way. It can, you know, sometimes you just don't want to do the favor. Sometimes it's a negative way. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a few moments and we're going to make our groups again. And we want to practice making the requests, whatever request you want. Maybe so imagine you're at work. What would you ask at work? If you're at different locations, if you're at the supermarket, if you're in a bank, if you're at home, Okay, so the idea is practice different locations. That way you practice different requests. So if you're at the supermarket, what's a request that you would make? If you're at home, what would be a different request? If you're at work, if you're at church, okay? If you're, you know, anywhere that you want. But the idea is for making requests and different. In some of them, you are going to accept. In others, you are not going to accept. Can I? Yes, Elizabeth, go ahead. Um, can I, can I ask for two requests in the same sentence? Yes. And you... uh, for example, could you, could you, could you tell, I don't know, Maria, uh, uh, to go to the supermarket and buy something to drink? Correct. That would be correct. That's exactly how you would say it. Could, could you tell Maria? to go to the supermarket and buy something to drink. Two requests in one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in the second request, you don't use to buy. You don't, excellent. Uh, just in the uh -huh. first one, right? Uh -huh. Just in the first one, you just say, uh, can you tell Maria uh, to go to the supermarket and buy? Then we don't use, again, we don't have to use the, again the two because we already use it the first time. What about if I say, could you tell Maria, go to the supermarket mar, to the supermarket, and buy something to drink? No, you have to no? say, you have to say two. It has okay. to be the infinitive. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't matter what the action is, but it does have to be the infinitive that says to buy or to go. Okay. Okay, perfect. Any other questions? It could be with wherever verb, right? Yes, correct. Any verb in the base form. That's right. Okay. So, you know, to visit, to call, to, I don't know, to eat, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever you want. Okay. Let's make can, our group. Can uh, yes. We, mm -hmm. Can we ask for a request to using the third person like uh, for example can you ask andres like that mm, yes but for example if i want that andrea's sisters do something and i i tell to andrea that she, his his sister could do something could she tells um Alex to yes. be on my parry, something like that. Correct. That is correct, Rocio. That's how it would be. Can Andrea, can you tell Alex to come to my party? Can you tell your sister to help me tomorrow or to visit my mother? Whatever action you want, but that is correct. That is the idea of the indirect request is for one person to indicate to the other person. I have a question. Okay. Correct. I... Hello? Uh, Edwin, you, you, we couldn't hear you. What? Try again. Uh, in... It could be correct if I use in a first person. I mean, like, can I go to buy uh, some new shoes? 
that is correct, but is not an indirect request. So, so yes. The, Sorry, I can't hear you. It, yes, oh, okay. yes, okay. it's correct, but it, the grammar is not an indirect request. It's only a request. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's correct. You can I buy? Can you know? Can my sister go with me to the store? But this is a direct request to my mother or to my father or whoever. The in the function of the indirect is to ask the favor for the person to do to another person or to tell another person. Okay, got it. Okay, all right. So we're gonna practice that. Remember, you are not asking the person. You are asking the person to ask someone else. Teacher. Yes, Elizabeth. <laughs> Um, it's correct that uh, if we don't, if we don't use can you or like could you, like, could you? Uh, yeah like can you like um, you know you, you can speaking use different... like speaking like informal a way for example tell tell Carlos that um, I don't know not, uh, not to be angry for what I did yesterday yes tell Carlos. Sure. Uh, I, I'm not using can you just just tell Carlos that uh, not to be angry for what I did uh, yesterday, for example. Yes. It's okay. Yes, yes. Only that that, that the grammatically it, it's correct. It's the only difference is that it's not called an indirect request. The name is called an imperative, but the, mm -hmm. the, it's not a problem. The problem isn't the oh, structures. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, the problem isn't the, the structures. All of those are the one that Edwin mentioned, the one that you say, the others, they're, they're all correct. The difference, is that the difference is they are not indirect requests. Indirect request is only, only when you ask or tell someone to do something for someone else. The other ones have different names, but they are correct. For example, imperatives or uh, uh, requests or, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, permissions. Like the difference, like could I? Could I is correct. But this is asking for permission, not asking for, not making a request. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. But all of those are correct. So, Richard, uh, an example could be like, can you help me to tell Jose to go with my sister to buy a new dress? That would be correct. Because it's not you that is going to do it. Can you tell Jose to tell his sister or can you to help me to go buy a new dress? That's correct. That is the function. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So the only difference is that uh, you use this to indicate that uh, normally you use this part because it's not for you. It's for someone else. But when it's for directly for the person, like Elizabeth said, hey, close the door. No, normally in, in the normal communication, you, hey, uh, come here or help me with this uh, report. But normally if it's not for the person, you are asking the person to do a favor to, for someone else. So then you say, hey, can you tell Carlos to, to visit me after he finishes, for example? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, let's try making some of them. Let's practice and see what we can come up with. What, what did you say? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Can you could you repeat it again, please? Rocio, <laughs> can you tell Veronica that we are in class right now? Veronica, we are in class right now. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, could you tell Veronica to be um, or to call my mom tonight, please? Veronica, can you call uh, Rocio's mom right now, for, please? Of course, I can. I can do it for her. Okay. Uh, Rocio, can, can you tell Carlos, don't go out tonight and no. be home? No, no, that one no, Vero. No. No, uh, almost, almost correct. Remember, when we have indirect, no uh, auxiliary, no auxiliary. Hmm. Can you tell... Carlos? Can you tell Carlos? Rocio, can you tell Carlos? Uh, not to. Not, mm -hmm. not to go out. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I don't that. I, don't. I know, where, I know my, my mistake now. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, good. Carlos? Okay. Paul? Hmm? Or you tell Edwin to to cook your lunch and uh, that um, uh, your family will not be at home. Uh -huh. Patricia, can you say it's the correct. sentence? Can you it's say the correct, sentence teacher? again, please? Okay. Could you tell Edwin to cook your lunch? That um, your family not be not not be at home. Mm, the, okay. Let me make sure I understood your sentence correctly. Uh, can you tell Edwin to cook? To his, cook? Right, to cook? Yeah. Uh, his lunch? Yes. That his family is not going to be at home? Yes. Okay, good. Everything is, is almost correct, Patricia. The only is the word that. That is not correct in this situation. The correct is, could you tell Edwin to cook his lunch because his oh family is gosh. not going, uh -huh, okay. because his family is not going to be at home. Okay. The, the, if, if you want to use that, you need to change the order. So if you're going to use that, you need to, the, that is first the explanation. As an example, can you tell Edwin that his family is not going to be at home. It's other situation. It's other situation, exactly. It's because you have two actions. One is to cook and one is to inform. So one is, yes. one is the action and the other is only receive the information. That's why you need, because uh, in order to explain, but if you want to use that, it's okay, but you explain first. Okay. Is, is this correct? Um, could you tell Edwin to cook your lunch because uh, plus plus it is correct. Is indirect oh, always. Correct. That is okay. correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, yes. teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. For, for me, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Can you teacher, tell your sister? Uh, teacher, I, I, I have no doubt, but I, I, I we uh, try to to make the sentences. For example, I said, Elizabeth, can you tell your sister to bring some drink for the party? 
Yes, but with S. Can you tell your sister to bring some drinks? Ah, okay. Some and, drinks. And the only reason is S is because you use the word some. Because some mm -hmm. is for plural. That's why. Ah, okay. That's why you need to use some drinks to the party. But everything is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. I got you. <laughs> Um, so, um, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, Elizabeth. Can, can you tell mom that I'm going to be late? That is correct. That can is you correct. tell mom that I'm going to be late? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Uh, if you see in that... And that one is very, very good example, Elizabeth, because mm -hmm. in that one, mm -hmm. we, we don't use the infinitive. We use the word that. So if you, exactly. use, if you use that, uh, Romulo, remember that like Elizabeth example, no infinitive. With that is no infinitive. That no infinitive, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. In the verb going. Correct. Uh, that but I, you, but then you used after it. that, you used to be late. I'm going, yes, but you use I'm because it's the future. I'm going, and then the future is always. I'm going to study. I'm going to work. Exactly. I am using the word, the verb as a as a future. Correct. In future. Yes, that's why is you use to, not because it's infinitive. For example, if you change, I'm going for I will. Mm -hmm. Then is no to. Can you tell mom I will, can you, sorry, can you tell mom that I will be late? Oh, you see, I see. The, 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 your sentence is correct, but not, uh -huh. for the, not for the idea for the infinitive. It's correct because mm -hmm. going to always is with to. It's always, it's, it's, not, it's not going, it's going to. That, that's why it's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let, let, let me say it, uh, if it's, uh, you tell me it's correct or not. Okay. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth, uh, could you tell, could you tell the teacher uh, to wouldn't? What? No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I lost. <laughs> I lost, I lost. Tell again. Could you tell? No, let 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 let, let, let me let me. Okay. Again. Okay. <laughs> Try again. No problem. No, that's why hey, that's hey. that's why we practice. That's the idea for practicing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to do it, Romulo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> don't 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 worry. If don't worry. It's not mistake. correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> You okay. say it and we help you. Don't worry. You say it and we help you. I, I, it's a, when, uh, I don't know, but uh, if you decide the sentence in the future, it's, it's, no, it's no problem, right? Go ahead, Ramon. You, you tell me what you oh, want to say. And, okay, okay. And if, it, I, I can. if it's not correct, I help you. Don't oh, worry. Okay, okay. Elisa, could you tell the teacher uh, to good in a state uh, uh, in class the next Monday. That I won't, uh, yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't, I, wouldn't? No, that I won't. That I won't be able to be in class on Monday. That's what you mean. Okay. Yes. That's what you tried to say, I think. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Elizabeth. The reason Romulo is no wouldn't is because it's future. Is uh -huh. the future the future is will, but uh -huh. the, but the negative is won't. Won't ah yes 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 yes. Uh -huh. won't. yes because would is the past so you have to say that I won't be yeah, in yeah. class. Uh -huh. Won't yeah okay. Mm -hmm. I repeat again okay. Okay. Elizabeth uh, who who tell who tell would the teacher could you tell the teacher. Mm -hmm. to 
I wouldn't. I no, no I won't. I won't able that able. I won't be to to one able or no 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 not to not to because it's a reason and for ah. reason the reason is that that that, that I won't that I won't mm -hmm. when you oh. use when you uh -huh. use to Romulo is for uh -huh. is for me to do the action so you say Elizabeth can you tell the teacher to and then for me, you want me to do the action to to call me to uh, send me an email to whatever you want ah, okay, it's okay, because okay. you want me but here you don't want me to do an action you only want to inform me the reason and for that is that that mm -hmm. okay that i won't be in class won't be is uh-huh i won't one, i won't mm -hmm. in class no, no, I'm writing, I, I'm putting it in the chat. That way you don't confuse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check your chat. Oh, oh, there. Yes, I won't be but in I won't class. be in class. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you, teacher. I, I got to. Okay. <laughs> that I won't, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So like this, this is why I say it's important that, that Elizabeth use that because that is the same, but it's for explaining a reason, not for you to do an action. So if, okay. if, if it's giving an explanation, is that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you. for example, can you tell the teacher that I had an accident? This is an explanation, not for me to do the accident. That's yeah. why, it, that's when we use that. That is for giving information or giving an explanation. Okay. 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 I let you continue practicing. Good. Yeah. Okay. So, but now 7 a.m. is the best time. Because not many people go out, go, go, go to the mass at that time. Okay. Veronica, could you tell... Carlos to go to the park with his children. Carlos, Rocio, Rocio wants you to go to the park with your children. Okay. <laughs> you have to go. I will make it. <laughs> I, I don't have plan to go with them to the park, but I will try. But now you go. Now you go. Good, good. All right. Okay. And maybe uh, your problem because of the weather, I imagine. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Is hello, teacher. Right. hello, hello. Any questions? Uh, not so far. Okay, all right. We're gonna go back to to the big room. Okay, that's everyone. Today is a small group, so <laughs> it's good. I good. Everybody had a chance to practice. The, this is why it's important to, to look at the videos because they give you more examples for each type. This is for, they give you how to use that, they give you how to use if, how to use whether or not, how to, you know, the different forms. But in general, this is the idea, is for asking for someone else. In this moment, I just wanted to go over the, the idea for, because uh, at the end of section three, is the midterm, okay? So you just watch the videos, and when you finish the videos, then we have the midterm. The part A of the midterm is the listening, where we listen to one audio, but we have four questions. So you listen to one, and you have four questions to answer, okay? In letter B, okay, is you read, and you have to decide which is the appropriate word to complete. 
okay? The same, only four, but you have to decide which is the appropriate word. Remember the meanings of those different words. Those are for describing people, how they are, for the adjectives, okay? Here, it's, you don't have to write the words, uh, sorry, you don't have to uh, write the sentence, only you have to put in the correct order, okay? Now, it's important. Here, if you look at the example, there is no, here, there is no capital letter, but, because here there is no capital letter, but you need to make sure you put in the capital letter, okay? So when you write it, make sure you write it correctly, the, the normal punctuation and then capital letters. That way you don't have it wrong, okay? So not only put, copy and paste the word, but make sure you put in the correct form. Okay. Okay, good. In letter D, it's you read, you have three different sentences, and you choose which is the correct way to say it. Remember, gerunds are with ing. Okay? So gerunds is just beginning. Which is the correct way to complete the sentence? Only you read and say, ah, okay, which is the best way to complete that sentence? It's only three of them. Here, we also have a letter E, okay? And you read the same, only which is the phrase, which is the appropriate phrase. This is for comparisons. Remember, when we saw as, as is the same, not as, as is not equal. And then more or better or uh, less, okay? Those are the ones that you choose for the comparatives. And the last section here is letter F. Now we have one more section. Letter F is a reading. You read, if you need to make it bigger, I don't think you, you can only make it bigger with the zoom on the computer, not by clicking. Normally you can click and it opens in the next page. But this one, no, you have to zoom to make it bigger. You read and with the information in the newspaper article, you put the ones that are true. If the information is not here, do not click. It's only if the main information is true. It's okay for the uh, midterm exam? Yes, teacher, I guess so. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, great. Well, in that case, please try to complete the midterm exam over the weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.